All right, so I've got all these pots out of the kiln, and if, uh, they look good, man. I'm happy. Lots of variation, um, some really good textures, and um, gla the glazes look good. The textures look good. I had um, nice soda distribution, some uh, more shiny pots, some more matte pots, just depending on where they were in the kiln, and you know, th then even on, even on just. Uh, individual pots you know the surface changes depending on how the flame moved around it and you know so it may be a little more red and toasty on one side and then a little more glassy and uh, more texture on another side so um, due to the soda the soda um, accumulation so had quite a few you know me had um, some animal jars in here with some new animals got a little frog there people keep asking me to make frogs I don't know I might have to Keep, keep working on him and then I had a pig I've never made a pig before but he's pretty cool there's a rabbit it's getting a little dark down here I'm hoping this video will look okay once I'm once I'm done uh, some footed jars there um, I had some I had some different plates in this load I'm I threw these plates a little different this time they've got a narrower foot and so I think they they're gonna sit on the table a little better and I was just, uh, I think I'm really pleased with those. So I've got some green glaze and then that dark blue. And then some of them are just the plain with the uh, slip. And let's see what else we've got here. I've got a few pots I might refire. That teapot needs a little more soda. So it'll probably get refired. Um, it's been a while since I've made a, any paddle bottles. So I made a couple paddle bottles this time. And they, I'll have to do this some more. I'm, I'm really liking these. I like this surface, this sort of front and back surface to decorate. And then over here, there's a uh, sort of an oval dish with the Tokyo pattern. And so then I had some of these taller, sort of larger bottles. This one's got some fish on it. Some more mugs, bowls. Yep. So these <clears throat> these bottles, they got quite a bit of variation on them, depending on you know how the soda and the flame moved around them. So they're they're really different. You can turn them turn them around and have just a really different pot. But I'm pleased with those. I'm looking forward to making more of those and just trying different things, different textures, different shapes. And I've never made. Um, a footed bottle like this before either. I've always loved those pots um, from China and Korea and so um, I made a couple this time and I'll make more. This one's got some combing and then this little pile of pots here is mostly test glazes and test clay and then I was really excited to make these faceted bottles with the feet I'm pleased with those. They have a nice look about them. The fastening really, really shows shows up nicely where the soda breaks and shows the clay underneath the slip. And then I had this one uh, t bigger jar here. I rarely make a pot like that, but it'll be nice to have that pot. So yeah, so good firing, and I'll get these cleaned up. My my home sale is uh, in a couple weeks here at the studio, so I'm looking forward to that. And if you're on YouTube, you can find a link to my blog in the notes down below. And if you're on the website already, then uh, you're already there, so you'll find out more information about the home sale as it gets a little closer. All right. Hey, well, thanks for watching this whole thing. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down there in the uh, comments section. I'm always I always like to hear from you guys. And I'll I'll put some of these pots in the Etsy shop too. You know, so uh, that'd be good. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. See you later.